Hi everyone, JC here. I'm just going to do a little video about this game, Blocks That Matter. Um, this is a game that's... Oh, this, so I've got headphones. Headphones, okay, that's better. Sound won't interfere now. So this is a game that's partly inspired by Minecraft and partly inspired by Tetris. Um, a lot of people thought that Notch had something to do with it because he's one of the characters in it. But it's actually a fictional version of him and a fictional version of the creator of Tetris. And is actually made by a French company, so it's nothing to do with them. But Notch knows about it. Uh, now this is because I tried it out earlier, so I'll see if I can... Pretty sure I can start a new game. Yeah, find a different slot. So we'll start from the beginning. And, okay. Sweden, the land of indie games. Okay, Alexia Marcus, two talented indie developers who created successful indie games. A few months ago, to the excitement of many, they announced their reunion and their plan of revolution, a brand new vision of gaming, blah blah blah. Most secret project indeed. Lots of players worldwide were impatiently waiting for the release. Expectations were growing high. Somewhat too high. On a cold winter day around May, two men came knocking at Alexia Marcus's door. They had guns. Conveniently, conveniently using applied psychology and guns, they kidnapped the two developers and brought them to an isolated cabin in the forest of pines. The text is very fast in this. From now on you're working for the boss, finish your game before tonight or else. The fact of the matter is, a secret project is not a game. It's a little robot! Uh, oh, whoops. The only thing to do for Alexia and Marcus was activate the robot and guide it to save them. So, basically, we're a little robot thing, and we've got to go and save Notch. Um, so, yeah, I've played this bit already, so I'll breeze through it a bit. Um, can't do much at the moment apart from jump, so we can break blocks by headbutting them, but we can't break bleh, we can't break blocks sideways yet, and it's taken over the camera, so I've got to go over there. So run around, run across, grab that one for good measure. And then this is like a kind of upgrade thing. Let's go to explain now. So there's one, two, one, two, Tango Charlie. Communications are online, it seems. The activation seems to be working. The dead robot has even upgraded itself. Good, great job, dead robot. And to say you're not even an alpha prototype. Oh, that's not his fault. I'll have to be even smarter to save us. The science of interacting with blocks, it's so tricky. Okay, now listen carefully, Tetra Block. Blah 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 blah. Um, I think I could. Oh, I don't know. Who's this? Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> there are only two ways to collect blocks: breaking them with your head, and my drill. So I have a drill I can use with F. Um, I need three wood and three sand. Which is a uh, Robins, aka Drenny, is just um, commanding some imaginary armies there. I'll leave her to it. Okay, so we've got to go over there. Cool beans. And I'm going to climb up here and collect this lot as well. I can't remember if you actually keep blocks from level to level. But it'll be useful if we do. I think we probably don't know. Because it would make the level design really complicated, I think, if you could keep the blocks between different levels. Oh, and this is obsidian. We'll find out a bit later. So, can't get through that. Okay. 
So you might be wondering what this has got to do with Tetris. That fits coming up here. So... So collecting blocks is interesting, right? It even gets better. You can recycle the blocks and make them into shapes and E. Okay, so you press E and you enter a different mode. And so you press space to place. Um, you can cancel with W. Um, a block has to be connected to another one. So it has to start touching a wall or a floor. This um, held me up before because I kept on forgetting that. Okay, and then you have to label, you, blah, you have to put down four blocks at a time touching each other, which basically creates the various Tetris shapes. So, um... And then, yeah. So, that's the Tetris link. Um, I'm going to do a shape like this, and then... I don't really need to, but I'm going to be sneaky and take those back. What's she saying now? Uh, the battle continues. <laughs> I can't see all of that message. I'm not going to uh, be distracted. She's trying to distract me. Okay, so we've gone through a portal. Um, so I've gone through a portal another 100 meters. And they're four kilometers away, so that equates to 40 levels or so, I guess. Um, da -da -da -da. Something about signal and stuff. Yeah, they can't teleport me all the way. Blah, blah, blah. Um, you can hold W to restart if I mess up. So, I think I need to... Oh, yeah, and I haven't kept the blocks from before, so... I think if I make, um, I can make a shape here to collect all that wood. Just to move. And then I can re yeah. So I think it's always a good idea to get as many of the materials as possible. Because there's extra things you can collect that you'll see in a minute when I get to it. Oh, I still do high. Um, but I've got a few more blocks now, so. Oh, oh, oh! It has to be touching something. Um, me touching the very blocks that I want to collect. Right. So yeah, sorry, this is a bit boring actually. But hopefully it'll pay off in a minute. You can see it as a how-to. Because I think there's a... Oh, it was... I apologise, that was a complete waste of time. Um, I'll see if I can cut it out. Okay, we could not afford the technology to allow you to drill while jumping. So basically, if there's a block like that stone block there where the portal is, I need to make a ledge um, in order to reach it and drill it out. So actually, I may have saved a bit of time by collecting all materials over there. I have the materials to do this straight away. So, okay, so difference between woodstone and sand. The biggest one is their shape, but they're all square. Um, square blocks like wood and stone are stable enough. Eroded blocks, like I guess the corners are gone. So sand will fall. So sand will fall, but um, no explanation as to the difference between wood and stone. So, so we can get that. Let's make this little shape here. This is a block that matters, I think, which are like um, 
Oh, that didn't work actually. I need one higher. Oh crap. Um Okay. Uh fast forward I think in the edit. No, I haven't got crap. Okay, so if you mess up you can explode like that and we we try the level. Okay, and we read that already. So we grab some sand. Grab some of that. Um, maybe leave that there. I need, actually no, I need, um, I know. We'll do a one, two, like that. Yay. Okay, and then we can get that. So, we've collected that box that opens at the end of the level once we complete the level. So we can just concentrate on finishing. Okay. And then this is our first block that matters, which is Boulder Dash. So yeah, all the blocks you collect are references to old games with block based gameplay. Some blocks fall, some do not. So this is where they explain like that the the um, unbreakable blocks are black obsidian and they can't be drilled. So I don't have much choice of direction here. I have to go here and collect these. These are the only four blocks we can get. That obsidian is going to fall, so I have to quickly dodge out the way. And then I was about to say that's all we've got to get out, but we can jump up this way actually. So I have to use four blocks here in order to get that one. Um, I'm just wondering if I can do it in a way where I can reclaim the blocks afterwards. I think I can. If I do it like this. Oh. Uh, I can drill that. I can collect these. Win a band! And grab that one back. Cool. And then that'll help me get that look that matters over there. So I think taking that away helps us. Because it adds a block to the. Or does it not? Perhaps it doesn't. Perhaps it would have indeed been better if we could make that shape, the one there, 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 there. But we can't reclaim that either, can we? Stand here and... No, that's not going to help either. Oh. Break a way out of that. Um, am I am I actually completely stuck here? Do I have to? I think I am. I think I have to restart actually. Um, so I shouldn't have jumped down. Okay, so let's speed through this. I'll fast forward or something in the edit. Oh yeah, sand will be even quicker to collect afterwards because it will fall. Oh, what have I done? I've lost that one now. That was foolish. Like a fool. Um, we have four available here, so... I still only see limited options for this bit. Um, I think I take that. I think I guess the mistake I made before was taking that wood. I need that wood there to get the stone. And then if I stand here, I can make a, a 
Um, sand is always useless, so we'll use sand first. Um, and then... No, I think I'm overthinking it. Right. Bish bash bosh. And then... Um, and then somehow, if we can create a four, that will get us to there. I think I have to do... Oh, no, that's not going to work. Um, um, the two more. If I meant somehow, there must be a way of keeping those two. I, I just don't know how to get that that one, unfortunately. Then here we have some slimes. Obviously, once I remove this, this slime's going to chase me. And you can only be hit by them twice, and then you're dead. So, there's a giant slime. So, giant slime is sleeping. So, I'll quietly make my way around it. And there's a bit here. You can run fast when you've got your drill on, and then you can speed up and jump further. So that's what you do to get across bigger gaps. Then you're going to need to build something here. Nice. I can reclaim. Actually, I could reclaim three of those. And then at the moment, we can't drill for obsidian. So, this box is obviously one we have to go back for anyway. But it makes me think the one before might be unobtainable until we can jump higher or something as well. So, it gets a bit Metroid, Metroid-y in terms of going back and re-getting things you couldn't get earlier on. It's just random um, dialogue here about how they think the baddies' guns might be toy guns. Um, I think it's just a bit of comic relief. Um, ah, whoops. So yeah, that's what happens if you get hit once by a blob. You get kind of damaged. So if I get hit again now, I'm dead, basically. Um, oh, I need to... Get through this way. Oh, and they don't. They stay on their ledges as well, worth remembering. I think we can get that over there with a extra jump. Again, more obsidian that we can't shift. Um, if we're super quick and sneaky. Hey. Sneaksy! Ninja it. Right. Um, can we get back through here? Probably... I don't think I'm going to survive that, so I'm going to build a little... Oh. Cool. Let's do that again. <laughs> okay, so that's not what I was originally planning, and then I suddenly realised that might happen as soon as I built it. Um, so we want something that's not sand, and then we'll put the two. Haha, <laughs> cool. Okay, that's an alternative way through, and we can keep all our blocks, so that's nice. Um, yeah, it was unnecessary though, because we would have had enough for two stacks. But I got an achievement, so that's always fun. Okay, and then... It's a giant blob woken up! So we must run quickly. Swap to this. Have a bit of a breather. 
build a little staircase, as you do. Um, and then back to panicking. So. Come on. Oh! Oh! I'm going to watch a replay of that. I'm pretty sure that was a glitch. Um, okay, so. Same again. Jumpy. Get the sands. Oh, maybe we can. I think we can. Um, Oh yeah, I must remember, actually run faster with drill on, so, have the drill, <sighs> it's quite stressful, have the drill on, and, you can jump, run faster rather, don't just use it for jumping, okay, and, ah, it's close, Oh, it's close. Okay. We got it, I think we've got it. No, get in. Okay. Oh. So that was really close. Yeah, it actually was. You're a good runner, Tetrabot. Found a way to destroy obsidian blocks. You do it very simply by adding some obsidian to your drill. You need four blocks of obsidian ore. Blah, blah, blah. Raising with Big Mama. He's called it Big Mama. Okay, so... I think I'll stop there for this video. So, yeah, so it seems really fun. It's available on Steam. Um, I'm probably going to play some more. I'll record... This is as far as I got last time, so I don't actually know what's coming next, so... Um, if I do play some more, I'll record it and see how it goes and maybe upload it as well. And um, alternatively, if it's really hard, then I'll go and record it a second time once I've worked it out and have it more like a kind of guide video for anyone who gets stuck. Oh look, he's doing a little jig. <laughs> anyway, okay, and I'll see you later.